Hey, it's me, Raptor, and I'm back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Legends. Yes, I'm finally back, and I will be making daily uploads yet again, and we start the revamp of the channel with this breakdown. As you may know, Super 17 is getting a Zenkai, which was teased in the V-Jump scans, as well as officially announced yesterday in Dragon Ball Legends' official Twitter account, and I'm sure most of you guys already knew this was happening, so... Yeah, we are going to be breaking him down. This is basically what's the what the maintenance is all about. That's the maintenance is because this guy's dropping. So yeah, let's not waste any time. Zenkai, seven stars since that's the base minimum you need him to be at for him to be Zenkaiable, and of course level five thousand since you know <laughs> who's who's gonna uh, who's gonna use a level three thousand or two thousand unit, right? I mean, I guess there are challenge videos. Getting off point here. Looking at his stats. His health ain't bad for a defense type. Strike attack is actually drastically improved, I think. Yep. It's it's better. Better than what it was before. His defense is obviously a very good since he's a defense type. Well, I guess they could have been better for a Zenkai unit. But they will do. I mean, that's just the stats. His kit hasn't been taken. I haven't taken a look at his kit yet, is what I meant to say. And, of course, his blast attack... Blast attack is also kind of decent for a defense type. He's not gonna lack in damage and is he's definitely not gonna lack defensively since he's a defense type. And um, yeah, let's take a look at his kit now, shall we? Main ability, descends now, draw the ultimate arts card. This is what we feared, Electro Eclipse Bomb. <laughs> One of the most annoying ultimate arts out there. A 100% chance to paralyze all teammates. That's just annoying, man. And we still own key by 40, so that's good. That's new, by the way. And that 50% blast damage is already there, I think. Yep. So that restore key part has been added, which, you know, it's good. Now you can, you know, extend your combo even more. So, yeah, definitely an improvement part. Still not the best that it could have been. But you know, I, I like my Zenkai's balance, so yeah. His first unique growing energy applies the following effects itself when this character enters the battlefield. 20% of damage inflicted for 15 time counts, okay. Reduce damage received by 30% for 15 time counts, okay. Additional 30% to blast damage inflicted per defeated enemy for 20 time counts. Okay, so he's gonna be more of a late game unit. 20% to damage inflicted every time this character enters the, uh, defeats an enemy. He's kind of reminding me of Yellow Goku Black, the Zenkai one. He's kind of built similar to him by the looks of it. And Yellow Goku Black isn't the best unit, so <laughs> I'm kind of worried about Super 17 Zenkai now. Dr. Mew's absorption equipment, his second unique, which is his cover change against Blast Arts, of course. And what happens now is restore own health by 10%, reduce damage received by 30 for 5 time counts, 30% to damage inflicted for 20 time counts, randomly destroy one enemy card, reduce enemy key by 50. Okay, so that's that's a very hefty cover change if you ask me, because it just it's so annoying to face basically. Like uh you used to get a 20% damage inflicted before. Okay, so it has been improved by the fact that it destroys an enemy card now, one enemy card. So, yeah, completely stops a combo in its track. So, even if you fail the cover change, that destroyed card is going to come in handy in the long game. So, yeah, the following effects are when enemy switches characters while this card... Oh, a Zenkai unit with that ability is always very annoying to face and scary. So whenever the opponent switches a character, you gain a green card, which activates three times, by the way. Inflicts all enemies with the attribute downgrade plus 10 to strike out scores for 10 time accounts. Again, annoying. <laughs> yeah, this guy's built to be annoying. He was annoying before, he is annoying after his Zenkai. And his third unique, Unsettling Spark. Applies the following effects to self according to the... Ah, see? That's what I said. More of a late game stay in the game kind of he's kind he's kind of reminding me of a goku black the zenkai one the yellow one i mean and the red uh heat dome trunks <laughs> basically 
So when three time accounts boss, you gain 40 key, which is you know good. Five time accounts boss and fix enemy with attribute downgrade. 15% to damage rate C for 20 time counts. He's a debuff on two now, so <laughs> yeah, like I said, annoying. 10 time accounts and fix all enemies enemies with attribute downgrades. 10% to damage received. Another 10% to damage received for 15 time counts. Okay, so his damage basically is gonna stack up over time. So yeah, he's he doesn't seem Z tier material at all, but I mean, he's not bad. I mean, a Zenkai unit never truly is bad, so... Culmination of advanced technology applies the following effects yourself after enemy attack is over. We still help by 10%. Okay, annoying again. Activates three times. 15% to damage inflict. Okay, this makes sense now. Now he's reminding me of Yamcha. So, the more he gets hit, the more he's gonna get... A damage inflicted buff and this activates three times and it cannot be cancelled so 15 15 15 45% percent to damage inflicted after you get hit three times of course and that on a Zenka unit is like I said kind of scary so <laughs> I mean he does kind of lack in damage so I guess this was much needed and minus three to blast arts cost activates three times as well oh my god okay so his blast arts are gonna cost like what um, 26, 23... His blast stats are gonna cost 21, I think? I could be wrong. 21 or something along those lines. Yeah, reduced blast stat cost can always be handy since, you know, longer combos and charge steps are more impactful with reduced arts cost. Reduced blast stats cost. So, flash bomber. No massive impact damage, unfortunately, but major will do since, you know, it is an AOE green card uh green card blue card and before it used to just give you a 25 percent blast damage inflicted but now it's a damage inflicted so that is very very good since it's not just blast damage anymore and his green card the annoying part about him absorption basically it absorbs your enemy's key blast and when it does activate you restore your own health by 10 percent Reduce that yeah that that's basically what his second unique was basically so I'm not gonna read over that all over again basically you take you take less damage you do more damage you destroy an enemy car one enemy's cards and reduce their key as well so yeah and electro eclipse bomb this is the part I was worried about after his set guy was announced massive impact damage it had that before too I think yep uh, he did have that before as well. Cancels enemy buff effects upon activation. Uh, so if someone's immune to paralyze, that effect is gonna be cancelled and then they are gonna get paralyzed. How fun to face, how fun to face. And okay, plus 10 to strike out cost for 20 time counts. That's actually old as well. That used to happen before too. Like I said, annoying and 100% chance to inflict paralyze and that that effect is applied to all enemies on him. And of course, oh, th this is actually very, very good. I am so glad that th this guy is not buffing green, um, whatchamacallit, green androids. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad this guy is just, you know, Zenkai buffing green GT. So, yeah, that's actually really good. <laughs> if he was buffing androids, then that would have been just annoying. <laughs> androids is, Androids doesn't need any more help. But yeah, this guy is gonna be used on Androids nonetheless, I think. I mean, he's... He takes a while to wind up, but when he does, he's gonna be doing some... Un, ex, some good damage, and he's gonna be very annoying to face. He has a cover change. Huh. So, final verdict. I think he's gonna be either lowest tier or tier 1. I mean, he's not the best, but he's not bad either. He c <laughs> yeah, I think he's gonna be tier 1, most likely. I mean, he if a skill player uses him, this guy's gonna be deadly, so... Yeah, that's basically it. That's Super 17 for you all, and... Yeah, let's take a look at... The upcoming new events, and in terms of events, there's only two things to talk about, so... Yeah, just gonna get 
this over quickly. Zenkai Ultra Space and Mars, it's getting a redox, so you can do it yet again and gain more Zenkai levels for your units, so that's good, of course. And the Super Scout Battle, Sparking Super Scout Battle, is also returning. And you can basically limit break these following characters, Thurlis, the One Hand Spirit Bomb Goku, Sparking Bojack, Demon King Piccolo, Chi Chi, Bunny Boma, I'm gonna be getting more stars on Bunny Boma, don't mind if I do, Mai, and the Zenkai Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, and Zamasu. So yeah, if you guys need some limit breaks on these guys, now is your chance, not, not really anything hype in terms of events. But finally, let's take a look at the upcoming new banners. And in terms of banners, there's also only two things to talk about. Super 17 Zenkai Awakening banner, of course. And there is also so a very interesting banner, to say the least. This Legends Ultimate Pickup. Now, you might be wondering what's interesting about this. Well, the thing is, as you can see in the art itself, you see four LF units, two of those are relatively new and two are relatively old. Now in terms of the old units, you see LF Piccolo who, well, he recently got a Zenkai. And you also see Super Vegeta who doesn't have a Zenkai yet, so... Hmm... This does seem like a hint to me, I, I think you know what I'm talking about. I love Super Vegito Senkai? Question mark? <laughs> I mean, it could happen. This is a 3k banner, last final step is a GSP, so, you know, not bad, I guess. And, um, oh, Goten, didn't expect to see you here. Okay, this changes up my theory up a bit, since, you know, Goten could possibly get a Zenkai too. But on the banner art itself, you only see Super Vegito, so, hmm. It's kind of interesting to think about, but let's not theorize, let's just take a look at the banner itself. Now Freeze is very good, even to the stage, here it's not bad. Yellow Vegito, I personally like him more than Gogeta Blue, since A, Gogeta Blue is hard to acquire, and B, Vegito, I, I just like Vegito more. <laughs> what can I say, really? And, um, Bergamo, good see ability, Android 20 fun. I think she might be still the green Android unit green unit on androids basically <laughs> holy frick i messed that up and kefla still the green unit on fusions the primary green alongside gotenks who you can also use champ is not bad vados excellent support unit one of the best to this day and in terms of extremes the standard stuff you know so yeah thank you for watching this video all the way to the very end guys and yeah basically <laughs> The revamp has begun and the daily uploads, uploads shall begin again soon. So, yeah, thank you. I already said thank you. So, yeah, see you all on the next one. Peace.